During the campaign, I've talked to dozens and dozens of people in my district, and we've talked about issues like healthcare and taxes and education, but a lot of people have asked me questions about me and where my family comes from. The small town of Colooney in Sligo County, Ireland, and my ancestors came to the United States to try to make a better life for themselves. My great-great-grandparents worked in the railroads in New York, building them from uh, the ground up, and then their children and grandchildren worked as engineers on the railroad, and then my grandfather started a small business, and now I'm a lawyer and my brother is an accountant. When I was a little kid, my grandfather had a sailboat, and I learned how to sail up in a small lake in New York. And ever since then, I've had a real passion for sailing. I became sailing master at the summer camp I went to for years and raced sailing boats on uh, Lake Michigan here in Chicago. And it's given me a real appreciation for the environment and the importance of protecting our natural resources. In addition to being a lawyer, I'm also a small business owner. I am the part owner of a restaurant in San Francisco called Andalou and I was very involved in helping start the restaurant. So I'm familiar with things like real estate leases and how to set up a business and tax issues and insurance issues. In 2004, I took five weeks off from work and went up to Milwaukee, Wisconsin to work on the presidential campaign. I volunteered on the voter protection team, which was set up to watch the polls around the state and make sure that anyone who wanted to vote and was eligible to vote was actually able to vote. It was disappointing to me to see how many problems there were with our electoral process, but it was also heartening to find out how many people were willing to come to Wisconsin and volunteer their time to make sure that anyone who wanted to vote was able to. In my 10 years in private practice, one of the things that I'm most proud of is the number of people that I represented on a pro bono basis, people who couldn't otherwise afford a lawyer. One of the cases that I had involved a student who was discriminated against by his teacher and by his vice principal because of his sexual orientation and eventually had to leave school because of the discrimination. After we filed suit, not only was the student able to go back to school and be protected, but the school implemented procedures to make sure that this wouldn't happen again. I believe very strongly in community service, and over the years I've volunteered for a number of different organizations. Right now I'm on the Associates Board of the Erie Neighborhood House. The Erie House is a community center for recent immigrants and children of recent immigrants, and it provides a whole array of programs to help people adjust to life in the United States, such as providing after-school programs, helping people apply to college, and helping people learn about technology. I currently work as a lawyer at a nonprofit that does civil rights work for people with disabilities, and it feels great to be able to help people whose rights are being violated. But unfortunately, a lot of the people who come into my office, I can't help. And what they really need is changes in laws and policies that come from Springfield. And that's really what motivates me to run for this office.